Thanks for coming to our YouTube. This is uh, John's Pathfinder, my 2007 SE model. And as you can tell, it's for sale for $17.5. Um, according to Kelly Blue Book, I should be selling this for $18.5, and the dealership should be over $20. But uh, we've got a good deal on it, so we're passing a good deal on to someone else. We're the second owner, and uh, we've had it for about three and a half years now. First owner had it for 18 months, and was a salesman who uh, put like 25,000 miles on it in 18 months. Um, let me tell you a few things about the car because it has almost every available option. Why don't you come just a little bit closer? You got uh, uh, running boards out here. You have uh, air dam up on here for the moonroof. You have roof rack with the crossbars. You have the oversized tires, and these tires have only about 5,000 miles on these Michelins. And um, you have a complete tow package that's on this thing. And I'm happy to have my, uh, my photographer today, Emma my eight-year-old assistant, and uh, she's going to be following us around the car and just trying to take it nice and smooth with the thing so it's not too jiggly. And I'll tell you a little bit about the car. I'm going to come up this way, Emma. Inside we have all leather interior, and uh, and it's all, all uh, perforated leather so you don't sweat as bad, which is a nice feature. Uh, power seats, eight-way power seats on the driver's side, also lumbar support that's also in the back here. On the steering wheel, you have a leather-wrapped steering wheel, and on the steering wheel, we have uh, all your sound system stuff here and all your cruise, con cruise control knobs over here. So your fingers never have to leave the steering wheel while you're driving. So it's a very safe uh, vehicle in, in that aspect. Um, I'm gonna get, let me take this for just a second. I'll show you a few things in here on the dash. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, 68,963 miles. Uh, you have a few little neat little features over here. Of course, you have your um, power mirrors, and they're also heated. But the other thing you have over here is your adjustment to have your pedals come up closer to you. So if you tend to be someone who's very short, it allows you to get the pedals close. Uh, inside over here, we have dual air and also rear air, which is nice. The Bose uh, uh, stereo system is by far the best uh, stock stereo system I've ever had in my life for the sound that this thing has. It has uh, the MP3 uh, jack over here and you have the availability to play six CD changer in the dash and the cool thing about this is you can also be playing music here uh, for the people in the cabin and yet the, the kids in the back can be uh, watching um, uh, the DVD with their headphones on and uh, and the two can survive in the same vehicle. You have a coin return case right here which is nice and also two big old jumbo size uh, cup holders which is also nice. Uh, up above we have, as Emma's showing you here, we have the little flaps that fold out of the, the visors and the visors are lit and uh, so that's a nice uh, nice little feature. And we have up above here also we have a place here to uh, keep your glasses and it's an awful handy place to keep the glasses up out of the way. The mirror has a couple different features with it. It has the availability to program three different garage doors it has a, a compass built into it, thermometer built into it for outside temperature, and it also automatically dims if you're getting hit in the night with somebody behind you with, um, uh, with the powerful uh, lights behind you. In the armrest, and we'll show you, is that uh, place where the DVD player is hid. And right now we uh, have um, uh, a Chihuahua movie is in, in the DVD player. But also you have the jacks or the red, the, the white, and the yellow jacks that allow you to also play video games through the system. And also there's another cigarette lighter there too. We also have a cigarette lighter over here. So if you wanted to uh, be charging two cell phones at the same time, you can do it. Uh, the seats, you, there are two heated seats, and the seats are dual heated seats. So that's a nice feature to be able to have uh, two um, two settings on it. Most, most vehicles need to say only have one. Uh, you have over here you have two uh, uh, glove boxes, one which I has the original sticker in it, $34,220. And it also has a second glove box, which is nice, which we keep all our receipts from many of the oil changes and tire rotations and all that kind of stuff. So that's a good thing. We have airbags, side airbags in this vehicle, and this uh, this vehicle also has uh, tubular steel beams in the doors. So that's why it, it was a uh, such a safe vehicle. Um, the nice thing back here, as you can kind of see, is we have three rows, and so um, the back row is still tr pretty much still of a kid's back row. My wife is not the biggest person; she could fit back there, but it's not going to be somewhere for six foot tall. 
Emma, you want to show us how to how, pull that seat up. Excellent, honey. And then that, that's how we get into our back seat if we want to be able to do that. So it's an easy, easy access into the back. And the other thing that Emma's going to show right now is she's going to show how these seats actually fold down. Well, I'll tell you what, Emma, why don't you come out here and I will do a little bit of the fold down and you can do the camera work. Okay, that's a folding up. Okay, hold that real steady. These just fold down. You can also, again, access either way, either side to get in. It's going to go down that way. There we go. I got that all the way down now. I fold flat. I need to really actually reset that one over there. But let me, I used to keep fold viewing that way, honey. I'll go yeah, the availability to open the glass separately, which I wish my Nissan Rogue would do the same, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So you can do that. You can open up the whole thing. This folds down. This folds down. Back here, we also, you can see right here, we do have a power power jack here. And um, we didn't fold that seat down there on the side correctly, but this shows... That won't, it won't do it now, sweetie, because it needs to, that seat needs to be reset. That was set to get somebody in. But as you can see, if it was on the back side, I'll, I'll fix it and we'll show how we can lay everything nice and flat. I'll put this back up for a second. Then we fold that down. So it has a dual position on that. Now we have a nice flat surface here, and these, these boards keep you know, things from falling in between. Again, when we want to fold back up, we have, also have cup holders back here. We have multiple tie downs, which is great. So if you're traveling and don't want stuff flying around the back seat of the car, that's okay. Don't, don't get too close because I'm going to fold these seats up. Big Bose subwoofer back here, which is great. I have a great base in this car. And it'll fold this back up. And let me, I'm going to see that back there. We'll show you how the, the head, these also. We have um, um, leather headrests that all retract nicely uh, down all the way. And uh, hold this up. And even the center person who normally doesn't have a headrest, a lot of times in your three pat, uh, three rows, it has it here. These seats also can recline a little bit further back if you want to on each side, just to give you a little bit more of a reclining aspect of the car, which is nice on those those long uh, journeys. around over here. Oh yeah, Emma's showing you the safety uh, uh, safety kit there, or the first aid kit. Hopefully you never needed it. You never have. But it's nice to know it's there if you need it. Okay, and I'm going to show you back here. I'm going to turn it around again, sweetie. And this is just going to fold back up. Fold back up and also these two have headrests back here. Hard to get it at this angle, but they too fold flat to get up out of the way. You have your rear air back here, you can kind of see it, and it's directional, so you can kind of move it around, or you can close it off if you want to, which is a good thing. You have a storage compartment back here with a jack, which we've never used, so I'm glad to say it's, it's safely been in there, it's never, we've never had a flat tire. Um, tow package back here, move back just a little bit. You have your receptacle, full-size spare, which has never been used, and you have your total ready electrical system ready to be wired in with a four-prong typical trailer hitch on it. And I've got to get my little cover back on there. Okay. Now, you want to show the shine of the back there, Emma, so they can see no... Uh, no dents on the car. If you look down the side of the car, you can hear the nice thump of the, the Nissan Pathfinder door with all the insulation. There you go. And uh, oh, I showed them the rear air. Let's come back here just a real slow moving. We show them where the rear air is, and also I'll, I'll open the cup holder. There we go. Nice size cup holder back here and rear end. Your two headphones. Your remote control. 
And as you can see from the video playing up above, it does work. Come out here. We'll get the hood. Nice good shine over the whole hood. And like I said, all the tires are in great shape. And it will show you what a nice oh, thing it does. And yeah, also have the the visor here that closes, and also how you can use, open just for a vent if you want to. Okay. Well, good deal. Oh, this side also has uh, power seats, but it's only a six-way, I, I believe, instead of eight-way on it. So the the driver seat has just a couple more settings on it. And that's it. 2007 Pathfinder SE. I'll zoom in on them, and that'll be it. Bye.